Alright, hello, Duelist Gamers. Hey, kids. How have you all been doing? We're gonna play a little bit of Duelist. Gonna work on hitting S rank for the month of March. If we can, might take a while. Before we get started, I want to set up a couple things for myself. Because I know the key times might be lengthy, possibly, due to error, imaginary rating number, that we may or may not have. So yeah, it could, it could be a little time consuming. I just want to pull out some stuff here and have some things to do. But I haven't played in forever. I haven't played in a really long time, so I'm very rusty. Um, only know what I've seen from Choco Stream and and uh, Valhalla and Dull Track when they were playing. And, I've seen a lot of Songhai, so there's Songhai's around, but I'm just gonna roll with the uh, this Vanary list that I have. And see if we can't slowly push through to S. Oh, that wasn't so bad. So yeah, it's just gonna be some duelists, some music going. I'm just gonna hang out and chill. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Imperial Saboteur. This is a possible artifact list, I suppose. I'm not sure what we're faced with here exactly, but I'm going to do this play and deny them their tile. Get some stuff on the board. Could have done the wall wall and then entity, but entity here can't die on the board because they both can't get to it. Good old PG. Hmm. <laughs> Could deny the mana tile and set up <laughs> my Snowpiercer. I could preemptively hit the Portal Guardian of Chromatic Cold, I suppose, is about the play that we want to do just so he doesn't frenzy things. <clears throat> hmm. I'm not sure where I would want to stand, though. And in case this is a dervish list, I don't think I want to play too hard into, uh... A star is Fury in the coming turn, so we're gonna move down here, we're gonna move here. I'm just gonna set up stuff. We're gonna preemptively get rid of the portal guardian, and that's all we're gonna do. Save my artifact. I don't really want to punch face with it. Do 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 Another PG. I'm just gonna kill him with Hailstone Prison. Hmm. 
Hmm, you know, this doesn't give me a lot of information on what I'm up against. <laughs> I'm wondering, do I really want to move in? Yeah, I'll move in. I'll move in. Mm, if I get bone swarmed, I don't really want to get hit by bone swarm. Yeah, I don't want to get hit by a bone swarm over there. I'm just going to chill over here and not equip my artifact yet. Yeah, you have to pardon me, I'll probably sing along to the music a whole, a whole bunch. Alright, we have trade. Very good. Keeper the Veil. <laughs> I guess we're gonna kill this with the Heart Sister. Should I keep my other artifact? They're at full hands of Hailstone Prison. I'd rather keep. And we have a Sloth. Sloth Sister would be nice, but I can't do Sloth and Sister. On this turn. So I think we just get rid of this portal guardian that they insist upon having. They, they seem really adamant about having this portal guardian here. And I'm just gonna kill the keeper. I'm not sure what I'm up against. Is it, right now, I, I would call this Portal Guardian Vitruvian. I mean, we're, we're copying Portal Guardian, we're playing Portal Guardians, we haven't done anything except play Portal Guardians. I have no idea what, what they are overall. And I'm also very out of tune on Duelist to begin with, so I'm not sure if this is, like... Just, uh... Time Maelstrom list, maybe some sort of mid-range vet with Time Maelstrom closer. Maybe Osirix is getting used since his buff change or something. I have no idea though. I don't think they're artifact anymore. But I suppose they still could be. I'm getting slow lead. And my artifacts being cleared. Although Portal Guardian doesn't do any damage. Oh, you got first wish. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Well, we can kill their sloth for free. And then do my own sloth to invert things, basically. If I give myself red... Let's give myself... Red... Uh, 
I'm gonna put green here. And blue here instead. And then I can get a trade on this guy. And we can do some free damage on this guy. I think I keep my hand overall. I don't know if I could have cleared all three things. I would have had to put the portal guardian on red and then sack the heart sister. But I didn't want to lose the heart sister for free if I could help it. Sir. Hello, sir. Top of the morning to you. Can I please check emotes when I have the time? You're curious if they introduce new ones. Yeah, yeah. We got this page. We got this page. And we got this page. That's it. That's it. Those are your emotes. I think these, the, this one was the latest one. Or this one. I forget. <laughs> you don't have that one? Oh, we're getting stars. But they're mostly going face with their stars, so... Their board's gonna be cleared, they'll have nothing left, and... We should be able to get ridiculously carried ahead. And have to play around the next stars. <laughs> Do we have lethal? I have three. Uh, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen. It's not quite lethal. So, since we don't quite have lethal, I think we'll actually fish for something else here. With eight mana. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna want this guy here. Yeah, let's see what they do to kill us. We could die to a uh, siphon energy play of some sort. Yeah, the Star's Fury was, uh, really good for us, actually. Well, it did a lot of damage, but then they didn't do anything with it. They just stayed there and only partially committed to killing me. They didn't entirely commit to killing me, which is probably a misplay. I was worried about Rasha's. Rasha's left me vulnerable. I'm re really relying on green to save me. It would be three damage, Rasha Dooncaster. We have a cute deja vu engineer play, which means they're dead, I think, because we were gonna do 14. And it might it might be one off. It might be one off. Mm 
It would have been more damage if I had another dragon. So yeah, this is 12, 14. I can only do 14. Or I could do 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I think what we'll do is play it slow and safe here. Eliminate this guy and just heal up some HPs. Make sure that they can't run away. Now they can run on the bottom if they want, that's fine. I think this is better. This is one off lethal. Good old one off lethal and duelist. Uh, classic. Okay, they are free, so they're free to run. That's why I healed. I opted for the healing. I don't want to box them in because it's not necessary. The only thing they can do is walk away from all the tile nonsense, and then they can't benefit from the tile nonsense. Now, they might have me with some Maelstroms, though. So, I might lose the classic Vitruvian Maelstrom action. And they are on a blue, so they can hit me multiple times without dying. It's very advantageous for them. And thankfully, there's no Maelstrom happening. Double saboteurs, not going to save them. Alright, we've got lethal. Yeah, it's paved the way for our other guy in the back. I don't know if I could have dodged Time Maelstrom. If I didn't dodge Time Maelstrom, I need to dodge uh, this spell. I need to dodge this spell. I don't think I could have dodged both. It's not likely. Excuse me. Okay, we're, we're in the waiting room. The old duelist waiting room. So I saw Choco playing, uh, he's playing some Marvel Snap. Doing that snappage. You've been playing Warp Forge? Is that the 40k card game? Warp Forge, yeah. It is. How are you liking it? You like it? Dual track plays. Some working Necrons for you. <clears throat> I don't know if I loved the general mechanics of that game enough to try it. But I see they're releasing Tau Empire soon, which is pretty rad, and I know they have Tyranids. I don't know if I'm gonna play that. Tau's like tomorrow. That's exciting. 
I am a Tau enjoyer. I do like my blue space peoples. Tau enjoyer. My friends and I are gonna play some 40k tabletop soon via tabletop simulator. I don't know when I'm gonna be playing Tau in that game though. I'm gonna bring out the guns. My goal is to deep strike all my XV8s and just blow up a single squad of something inconsequential and assert dominance. <laughs> the mids have been quite strong this patch, pretty good balancing. I bother to try a work forge sometime. I don't know. I'll need to see more of work forge. So I don't fully grasp how the whole game functions. I know it's like. Sometimes I see your units do attacks and they don't take attacks back, so I assume it's like a ranged attack, but then they can also do a melee attack where they do trade damage. And then I don't know why you would ever do the melee attack instead of ranged attack. They have melee range HP. Flying can't be melee. What do you mean flying can't be melee? What the heck is a flying hive tyrant good for if it's not good for immediately flying in the melee range? <laughs> but interesting. I'll, I'll look at it more. I don't know. I'm not sold on Warp Forge. Sabino. Should I puke my hand, guys? What do you think? I should puke my hand, right? The whole hand, just just throw it all out there. Why not? It's song high. Fuck song high, right? Am I right or am I right? Uh, we have to go here though. So this costs zero to put down. We're gonna turn this into a dragon. I'm gonna put this on here, and then we're gonna do this and smash this. And he'll have five cards, and I'll have two cards, but maybe we get back to four cards. <laughs> but I have four, seven, eight, nine, or eight. <laughs> we'll do the health. Four, six, seven. Eight. Yeah, we got eight HP on the board on turn one. That's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. Fenrir draw to follow up, so I have a play next turn. Board dominance on turn one, hells yeah. This can't possibly go poorly for me. They're going face, they're throwing their hand face. Wow, this is a really silly turn from them, isn't it? I mean, yeah, you do seven damage, which is a lot of damage. But then you lose your entire board. If only I had five mana. Oh man, I'd go all in. Alright, what we got? Damn, if only I had five mana. Alright, we're gonna back up into the wall and just drop this guy maybe here? So the dragon's still relevant?
Do they have backstab mask? Is this is a backstab list. I can't tell what savvy in the place. So let's put them there. Huzzah! Hey, what's up, Mike? Good morning. Good morning. You working today? They're an eight gates list. Oh shit. Bam. Oh shit. Well, we're back at five cards then. Bum 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 ba da ba da bum ba da I don't need this. Ba di ba di ba di ba di ni ba di ba di ni ba di ni ni ba di ni 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 ba 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 ni ba ni ba ni ni ba ni 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 Let's see you do eight gates, Ghost Lightning again, Sabi and you. <laughs> Oh shit, he's doing it again! <laughs> this fucking card game. <laughs> Damn. He got me, fam. He got me. Alright, what do we want to do here? I, I need all three of these. So, I think what we do is just hang back. And we do this and this for this turn just to get some stats on the board. Don't need this. Let's see you do it three times in a row. Surely you can't possibly eight gates ghost lightning three times in a row. My hat will be off to you if you could. Yeah, am I still the only person that this happens to? My opponent does a strong play, cool, cool, and then they repeat the same play on the next turn. I'm like, what the fuck? Yes, punch the 4-3 with your 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> I can do 11 damage, fam. I might want this for burst. So I'm trying to think. We want, I, I, it, it would be good if I hit, right? It would be good if I hit. I should replace first, but I, I'm kind of scared to replace a bubble smith. And three, four, five, six, seven would be these. So if I want to play this, I can't play Snowpiercer. All right. This is a bit of a waste of a card, but we're going to uh, put them down anyway, because I got another one. I'm not going to tempo out the last one, though. I just don't want him to move away from the walls. <laughs> of course, he's, uh, he's getting away. He's getting away from the walls. I guess I can give him a Phoenix Fire. It's not that big of a deal, right? Alright, now I don't have to give him a Phoenix Fire. No, I could give him a Phoenix Fire. If I give him a Phoenix Fire... I can't do what I want to do. If I keep... Mm, 
Yeah, no. Hmm. 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 I think I have to kill this thing. This could be a game ending play. That's the problem. Yo, what's up, decoy? We might die here, because he can punch me now. He can, he can Phoenix Fire and then that's one damage. And then he can hit me for a whole bunch of shit. He really had triple Phoenix Fire and the third eight gates in his hand, guys. It's good to see my opponents are still very powerful at drawing cards. They're better than I am at it. All three eight gates drawn within his top... What was it? We only went through 15 cards? That sucks for me. That sucks. That sucks. Nice game, Bladum. <laughs> hey, now. It's a team effort. It's a team effort. This is Dream Sloth's duelist. It's not Bladum's duelist. It is frustrating, though. So it maintains the heart and soul of what makes duelist duelist. Uh, I guess I'll keep Chromatical. We know Jalapar is playing Portal Guardian, basically. I'm just gonna keep this hand. He even used one Phoenix Fire on a different target, so he had excess Phoenix Fires. I think it was one or two. How many did we survive? I guess if I knew what his hand was, I would have just walked away. If I knew he couldn't teleport the fox to me. I could have just walked away. We could have killed the heart sister and we would have been safe. All right, so we got a keeper play here. And he doubled up on this thing too soon for you. I guess we'll just get rid of this guy. Do I take the one damage or the two damage? I may as well take the one damage, I think. We'll just eliminate that. And we could do this. Instead of playing the other Fenrir. Oh no, I got I gotta save it for the Portal Guardian. We know he's got the, the PGs. Where do I want this guy? I want him somewhere. Like right here works. Nah, no, right here. No, I don't want him to die to the other thing. We'll put him up here. My bronze right now. I'm diamond. I played earlier in the month. I played them. Um, a little bit earlier in the month. And I made it up to one chevron away from rank 5. And I just didn't get around to playing more duelists. I got busy with other things I desired more.
Mm, it's what they say. Anyway. And we got the old Deja engin Engineer trick again. <laughs> Since he's sleeping my guy, I think Aspect of the Worm and then Replay My Guy would be the best turn I could do. Replace one of those. Alternatively, we could develop a sloth. <laughs> I think dragon into another Fenrir gives me more venerable threats. But I'm not, I'm not really sure. The second dragon next turn. And while not ideal positioning, we're going to play around Star's Fury. We know he has the Star's Fury. I'm just going to do this. We're going to uh, just throw green out here. Put blue here. And trade this in for free. Maybe I could just moved him and then I could have taken the blue tile. That's okay. Such a nice password theme. The only thing I don't like about this turn is uh, Bone Swarm, but I don't think they have Bone Swarm based on the last game that we played with each other. This is Sloth of their own. All right, for this turn, now we uh, we get our guy back. <clears throat> but I don't think I play him on this turn. If we want to clear the board, we have to do a Chrome Cold here. I'm gonna take four. Get a dragon off of green to uh, do that. And then we're gonna play, uh. Play this guy. Oh, I'm one mana shy. I probably shouldn't have played that guy. That's okay. We'll replace the healing for now. I definitely miscounted there. I thought I could do the one mana walls and the... Well, I would have been able to do this in the walls, so... I have 10 damage. But 10 damage isn't enough damage. Hmm. <laughs> 
Hmm. Place him. Okay, and I have nine. Thirteen. <laughs> Damn it. All right, let's, uh... This isn't the best of positioning here. But I think I kind of have to do this. It's going to suck. Uh. No, I, I fucked up. I fucked up. I can't do what I wanted to do. Basically, want to keep his portal guardian separated from the walls. If I wanted to cover this red, I would have had to do it without buffing in the walls. And this isn't great. Star Star Fury is a little damaging. Especially since this one here gets a trade on this guy for free and then he would be able to sweep everything. That's a lot of damage to me. Maybe I should have thought about that play more. Our hand was a little too aggro. <laughs> the game wants me to do unto this Jalapar that Sabiinia just did to me. Okay, we're just playing mid-range stuff. That's not so bad. And then they're just gonna walk away. They forgot the wrong green there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> My plan worked. They needed four attack to clear. <laughs> Vitruvian versus Vitruvian. I see our Vitruvian gamers are out and about. Very nice, very nice. Do we want this? Uh, I'd rather have Fenrir. Or, yeah, that. Okay, now we got Obies. Hey, Obies! not the best turn, but if I'm going to compete with this obelisk, I think we should double surround it with stuff and hope that the duck doesn't get dunecastered. Although if it gets dunecastered, I guess it trades in nicely enough. Hmm. 
I suppose we'll tempo here. That's why you can't kill my horse sister for free. And then we'll figure out what we're doing next turn. The windstorm. Do 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 do. Replace the healing, and we got our end game burn. Um, not sure. I just want to throw the dragon out there. I I guess we sloth, and then it's not a big deal. I'm gonna assume Star's Fury is obviously a card. I'm also gonna... Uh, if they get the mana tile and they can ramp to 6, do I care? Like, what are they gonna do? Ramp to 6 and drop an Aymara? Which I don't have a great answer for, but I could face punch her, so I don't overly care. We'll just do this. We'll push damage. Make a straight line. So Star's Fury only gets two summons, and then Star's Fury doesn't even answer Sloth Guard because <laughs> this thing spawned on green. There's that damn siphon energy. Rejuvenator, we're stalling. Healing Mystic. Deep Sigh. Rejuve Mystic. I don't think I need Bubble Smith. Alright, a Razor Back. If I had Razor Back Hearth Sister, that would be great. Now I can, I can raise it back into Snowpiercer and we leave the, uh, thing alive. I can just kill the Healing Mystic on my own. And pressure damage. I'd rather kill the Obelisk, though. Do I really want to equip two artifacts to kill the obelisk? Because he can't kill the thing. And I don't want to stand on blue. Alright, we're gonna do this. Push damage. It's 
a weird hand. I guess we're playing it. Rejuvenate or Snowpiercer next turn. <laughs> Unless for some reason they're in range of my general. They dispel the wall. I don't care about that in any capacity. And we're getting hit with a G, so blast up there. There's a full board clear. Uh, this is six, seven, eight. So not enough for me to kill the thing. I can't play Sloth and um, the other thing. So I think we'll stand on green and just double up artifacts. It's two damage. I have my ways of getting to them from a distance. He just Saimara healered. Rejuve will die. That thing will die. Okay. If I get a, uh... If I get lucky, I could prevent myself from taking damage, period. So I guess we're not healing this turn? This is six, plus my artifact is two. So I think he dies before he gets healed, right? Uh, this would pop my artifact, so I'd have to hit first. Which means he'll heal for five. This means this does one damage, I do two. So that's only three damage. That's not enough. And I think we do this play here. Uh... Send this back to his hand. And just deal two more damage. Hope that he spawns here. 33%. We didn't get the 33, but that's okay. We we've got uh we've got some damage out of hand. If he doesn't heal more. I do expect more healing though, so we might have a long game ahead of us. If only I had a uh, the guy, the bubble smith, we could have prevented that damage <laughs> because we're on green. So it would have been no problemo to do the other play and win. Because we had eight mana, so bubble smith, flame blood warlock, or bubble smith hit flame blood warlock, flame blood warlock. Okay, clean this. That doesn't save him. So I'm not gonna hide anything here. I'm just gonna kill him. Seems like we have some uh, very mid rangey Vitruvians out and about.
I should probably master this song. I know this song's slightly louder than most of the other ones. Like, we're only on 5% volume for crying out loud. Oh, uh, no, we were on 10. Never mind. <laughs> the song is still a little on the louder side. Not that I mind. <laughs> Where'd my Vitruvian gamers go, yo? Yeah, the double wall opener. Check out my balls. You like? You dig? <laughs> Damn, that's a strong ancestral vessel. That is most on four. I probably want to play Rejuve on Curve. La da 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 na da na da 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 na. Bam ba ba na ba na ba da na. Bam ba ba na ba da ba ba ba. <laughs> 
Oh, this music, man. Pushing boxes all day long. God bless Sokoban. Uh, next turn, uh, there's a rather disgusting amount of some interesting keeper target. <laughs> there's gonna be a pretty disgusting amount of, what do you call it, dervishes spawn with Star's Fury. I can't really do anything about it. Uh, let me two up here. And two here. I just want to make sure they can't reach me. Could move here and then make a straight line of walls. Up to the edge, and then he only spawns one, two, three, four. It's not ideal, but it's the best play I've got. Uh, I gave him five. That's okay. That's okay. I've got walls, yo, but no bears. I'm playing dually, Zero. I'm playing dually. I had, I had a decent dually. Our boy Choco was converted to the Marvel Snaps. Now I know he's not converted, but he's enjoying the snap today. I was gonna play Duelist today, regardless of what Choco was up to. Try and get that S rank. My meaningless S rank number for the month. Bum, bum, free portal guardian. Ew. I'm gonna keep this other thing here, and we're just gonna play this guy behind us. Unfortunately, Portal Guardian didn't kill my stuff, so it's still five. We still have five things summoning from the... Star's Fury. And now he can kill my walls and I don't draw cards for them. Why am I at a full hand when I dumped so much on the first three turns of the game? How does that work? I only drew one card. I only drew one card. I don't understand. Jalapal really, really likes their Portal Guardians. They love their Portal Guardians. Uh, 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 uh. Two, four, six. Clear some of the board. We keep most of our stuff available. Uh, we can refresh this.
I can save my thing. Nah, I won't. I have to think about how I want to do that turn exactly. There, there's a lot of different variations to this turn that we could have done. There's a lot of different variations to that turn. I assume a Star's Fury comes out. But that's gonna leave them to have nothing else to play with it. And they don't even do a great job at clearing, so Star's Fury would be ideal to see, I think. Mm, Deja Vu Engineer's fine. And if he doesn't answer the dragon. And then we've got a good mountains target. How much damage do I have? I have six, uh, nine, what is it? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I actually just have lethal then. As long as we don't block the dragon. I'm glad I counted for lethal. So I was currently thinking, ah, I'm gonna clear this stuff on the bottom and, you know, keep going with the game. Yada yada yada. And we could also just kill them. I was joking when you're going to stream uh, a little something on the side and I don't know if I should do it or not. It, it, it would be a way to entertain during the long break periods here. But I need to make sure it's PG-13. So I didn't want to bother setting that up. Mm-hmm. 
This one? There it is. See if I can set this thing up. Well, I have to disable my uh, thing. Yes, and then it should update. Yes. All right. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Cool. 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 Now, can I run two games simultaneously? <laughs> also, I need to know if the music is on. I'll have to disable that. He's not responding. It is responding. Do, do, do. Good, music is off. Now, let me make sure we are very much PG 13ing here. I'm gonna get some side content. Alright, good, perfect. And we'll change the... Just change the title, we gotta update the title. So, while we're waiting in hell, because this is the way it is, uh, I shall entertain y'all. 
with the uh, Suica game, but I don't actually own the Suica game. <laughs> However, what I do own is uh, a tower defense or line defense game that happens to have added a Suica game mode in it. So we're going to do that on the side here. Why is it showing me... What? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Hold up. I mean, it's not like we're going anywhere or doing anything. Why the hell is this capturing OBS? Hello? Hello? <laughs> That's not the window I'm telling you to capture. This don't make any sense. I am perplexed. I don't know if I can capture it properly in this way. Uh, Damn, I've never seen this happen before. Oh, good. We've got a game. Well, I'll try to figure out this problem later. <laughs> we, can, uh, we can play Duelist in the meantime. More Vitruvian gaming here. might want this rejuvenator. We'll get him later. I'm gonna do a slow opener. Maybe I should do a split opener in this situation. I may want to be very careful about moving forwards. Alright, we're gonna do... we're gonna do this. We'll play our sloth in this fashion here. A hex blade. 
Well, if you're gonna Hexblade, it's kind of a wasted charge because... Yeah, we can still, we can pop this Hexblade. Alternatively, I can kill this thing. And not pop the Hexblade. Now this will this will break the hex blade too. This is actually just the best turn for us. I, I, I forgot about the ping off of my artifact. It's a pretty insane turn, truthfully. Maybe not insane, but a nice response to a hex blade. They moved up one space. They summoned a portal of guardian and they're protecting it from me, but I'm about to just hit them in the face for a lot of damage. Um, six, nine, twelve. <laughs> 14 can do 14 face damage and look for a uh... All right instead of doing 14 face damage we can um We can surround them in tempo really hard We'll just get rid of the portal guardian. Play this guy here and just hit him for a bunch. Seems solid to me. We almost had them dead though. We had five extra damage in hand. We only needed three more. That's fine. They're fishing for an answer, so their hand's not very good. Possibly. They're running away, but they're leaving my minions up, probably. Okay, that's fine too. They killed their guy just to get rid of my artifact. It's a cute play. I like it. But if I if I bounce their thing, then uh, can can I just kill this thing myself? We do have lethal. I'm pretty sure we have lethal. We can just play raise back. We do this and this. This guy hits for five, and this guy hits for four. Thanks to the red aura tile coming in handy. That red aura they placed should probably not have been there. We had them regardless, but... We'll kill them that way, give them something to think about next time they use Sloth. Granted, Sloth is really hard. To think about every possible 
thing you can do with it and what's going to happen after you do something with it. And it's just a Vitruvian's paradise out here. I might not get to play the uh, the other game for now. Ah, there we go. That would work. <laughs> okay, we can hide all the crap too. So I got I got something for <laughs> to when when we're waiting in Q Hell. <sighs> I think we just uh deny this tile. And I want this guy to be ran, so I won't deny the other tile. Just do this. He had to have plus one, plus one. I, I could I could have killed that, but unfortunately for me, now I can't. Hey, right, we'll just um, we'll do Fenrir Chrome, and since I can't really kill that guy, I'm gonna move this dude up one. And we'll keep my bubble shield. I'll let him dictate where he wants to do trades and such. This is right, right now in this situation, best case scenario, I save one damage. Worst case scenario, I, 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 I the bubble shield's wasted. Because dispel, siphon energy, we don't really care too much about that. As if he's gonna throw these two in it, we get value. If he throws his face in it, we get value. You would think? <laughs> no, it's fine. I don't know why we keep using Keeper the Veil on Portal Guardian though. A 1 HP Portal Guardian isn't really doing anything. They have a full hand, Hailstone Prison is useful, throw Razorback away. That's pretty nice. So what I can do here, we want to play around um, stars. I feel like stars would be that problematic, but... Hmm. I'm just gonna trade in two damage, so we'll save one damage. We'll play, uh, Fenrir here. And we're just gonna return this guy to my hand because I don't want to float two mana. This is duelist floating mana. It tends to not work out well. We'll just turn my guy into a dragon so he trades favorably in a keeper. If keeper wants to hit him instead of my face. Siphon number two. Siphon number two. Also hitting my Fenrir. I suppose my Fenrir is the only dispel target in my deck, so he's definitely getting dispelled. I mean, I got walls. But I don't, they shouldn't be dis dispelling my walls unless it's they're really desperate. 
Okay, we got a Syzygy play. This is just going face. I'm pretty sure he's just going face with everything. Which is good for me. And then he's getting a board clear. And it's not good for me. We can thankfully trade favorably. <clears throat> so I probably want Snowpiercer. Snowpiercer set up a bubble shield. They're at five cards now. Hailstone's less useful. I think I'd rather have the bubble smith for the next round because I'm about to play one. Yeah. Could play Blazing Spines instead. I think we'll give it a keeper, so I don't have to deal with infinite keeper. And we'll just do... we'll do this. I don't care if he, uh... I don't care if he stars me for two dudes. Ions is fine as well. And the Saboteur doesn't matter. He's going for a surround. It was surrounding me. I make an aggressive play here? I wonder how that would fare. Because my life isn't in danger from these two things. We could have a clean clear on this with Crim Cold, and then I can kill the Portal Guardian and do five face damage for free. I have healing and this stuff for recovery. We'll see if this is the right path or the wrong path to take. We want to get rid of this portal guardian because we know he's just going to syzygy it. That's like the whole point of his deck. And I can sit on green comfortably here. He's down to dispel, so this sloth might just stick around. Yeah, he's just doing a Syzygy play. I think that was six attack on this guy, so just going for face damage is no big deal. And he went for HP on this thing, which is interesting. I 
I have to turn this portal guardian into a uh, worm. Two Syzygies are down. I could just send his portal guardian away into Narnia. And then keep doing face damage. Which might be fine. Balam bum bum. Balam bum bum. Balam bum bum. Five, eight, four, five, six, seven. All right, we're going to do this. And this. And this. And uh, this. Prep for a Razorback. I, 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 uh, th this I would want here, I think. I don't, I don't want them lined up, but third Syzygy isn't very likely. So it should be fine. He makes a scrumptious target for Portal Guardian after Portal Guardian gets buffed up anyway. That's a good draw. I'm surprised he hit the wall. Just to play a healing mystic there. And keeper the mystic. <clears throat> so yeah, th this this dragon should be here, and that's that's the only real difference I would have made is the dragon should be protected from getting hit. Have we actually opted to Right, right. That's this. I forgot the frenzy. Hey, right, can I get him before we have? Let's replace this. No, I don't think I can. Well, actually, because I have Heart Sister, right? So we have four, six, uh, seven, eight, nine. To be f six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And that would be all my damage. to clear stuff out instead. And, uh... We'll keep her in hand. One mana shy of playing my Rejuvenator as well. Maybe I should have did one wall and then Rejuvenator up here. And just the one wall down there. So they have six on me. If they have the third Syzygy, they actually have, uh, they probably kill me. Yeah, this is a bad play. I, I needed a few more seconds to readjust what I want to do there. I, I would not, I would not do this. Whatever this is that we ended up doing. It looks like we're not dead, though. He's just gonna wipe out three walls here, which is fine by me. Mm. 
healing um hmm. it would be really nice if I could eliminate the um this is 6, 10, 12. I have 12 damage. I hope he doesn't have Syzygy. Although he needs two bodies now. I also have to hope that we don't get Rashes to death, which we probably will. Okay, it's just some Rashes. Oh, Osirix. It's a four attack general who takes no damage. So they do run the Osirix. Okay. Well played, well played. Alright, while we're sitting in queue, what we were gonna do... Let's play some, uh... Some Suica game. I'll make it bigger. <laughs> this is... While we're waiting. And uh, this will be a good time killer while there's lots of idling happening. So bouncy. They're so bouncy. Feeling that would happen. That's okay. Oh, 
That's a little less okay. I need, um... I need these two to combine now. I'll just have to roll with it. Oh, hey! What's up, Serge? Good morning. The V skin that one. Yeah, totally. Definitely a V skin. <laughs> the version you originally saw was more R18 oriented. Yeah, you can, uh, you can, I mean, I would never. I would definitely not turn off the adult patch in the options and just play some, you know, clean Civica game. That's crazy talk. This is a, this is a totally clean version. This could work out in the end. We'll see. Who do I try to combine? This is like a disaster, actually. Okay. Uh, let's do this and this. This and this. These two. That's one big titty, a lady. How am I doing? I'm doing all right. I'm just sitting in a. This doesn't look like a PG-13 game. What are you talking about? <laughs> all the kids love CVK game. Yeah, you, know, you drop things and you make matches. It's real cute, and you go for a high score. I got seven thousand eight hundred fifty-two points because I cleared the uh, the two. <clears throat> the quad melons, I suppose. Excuse me. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Put that in there. And then we'll never see it again. Speaking of the Suica game, there's a Toho themed one, Suica herself. Yeah, I'm not surprised to hear that. <laughs> That, that just makes sense, right? So obviously somebody would do that. Oh man. Well, whatever. That. I'm working over here. I'm working over here. Touch hand to hat. Come on. All right, we should we might we might be okay over there actually. I just need this eye to chain react. No! Ugh! No! It's over. It's all over. It's all ogre. I can't shake the screen five times. You get five uh Opi power or something, whatever they call it. 
But I tried to do it without doing that. Oh shit! Alright, let's let's uh park that. <clears throat> let me let me hide that. It's gaming time. How long was that queue? That was a long queue. We have a not Vitruvian player. Queue's so big. This is huge. I almost reached the Z. Was that almost 10 minutes of waiting? Is that what you mean by Z? Or Z? Great first turn. They're gonna think I'm aggro. We're kind of not really. But that's okay. We're gonna get Void Pulse and cry a little. Yeah, I told you. Uh, Demonic Lore, okay. Demonic Lore is a little better. This guy's kind of annoying because he's going to put me off curve. So I can't Sloth Guard next turn because this thing. Uh, but that's fine. I don't need to Sloth Guard next turn. We, we may need this, actually. I mean, and I may need this. I'm going to replace Sloth since I can't. This is a... This makes their turn a little bit better. So, I'm getting trolled by some kind of... ...deck here. We should never count out Crossbones. Crossbones has been very relevant against me in the past. It actually is disruptive enough. Okay, they're giving me card draw. See if I if I could play sloth on the next turn. Holy. Well, we could do bubble smith chromatic cold and then they get kind of wrecked. Hey, look, it's sloth. I'm gonna move my dude so that we play around the uh, Grasp of Agony a little bit. We'll just break the artifacts. If you have less than five minutes in here, you don't know? Oh, well, I mean, the, the thing had a Q timer. It was partially covered by the exciting gameplay <laughs> of a uh, Suica game. Why, thank you. They keep giving me cards. They're so generous to fill my hand up when I need it most. I'm going to hold this in case they have like a random ass Vorpal Reaver. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna do this and hope it works out well for me. We'll do red. Green, blue here. Uh, hit him. I'm gonna step on blue. Uh, keep, keep. I might need healing. I might want that. It's a pretty decent hand, honestly. I'll hit. I only have four cards. So I don't have a ton of options to 
deal with this situation. Let's miss other man that gone. What was that? Void pulse or demonic lore? Void pulse. Uh, pretty good answer, I guess, overall. I can sit on blue. I don't mind sitting on blue. We can keep keep. Just do four and two. Replace one of these. We'll get rid of that. We'll do uh, this and this. So it's Revenant time and Shadow Nova time. But I think I can deal with both Revenant and Shadow Nova. Especially if Revenant just hits Rejuvenator. Yeah, that's an easy answer. And we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm two off lethal. I could just turn my guy into a mountain man and then hit for seven. Puts me at 13. Abyssian can't do 13 damage from an empty board. And I'll be next to him. Alternatively, was a six, nine, ten, eleven. If I have one more mana, this would be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not quite enough. I think we'll just do the mountain play. Smash face. Uh, we gotta stay next to them, so I'm just gonna stay next to them. Hit. I think we're safe. In for a tiger double reflection. Nobody has a tiger double reflection, nor can they afford to pay that. They are only at eight mana, not nine. And they have not set up any cheap tokens, but they can get me with the uh, zero mana guy. The, the zero mana zero one into dark fire sack tiger double reflection, and I would not be prepared for that. <laughs> Damn, they just man made it the fuck out of that. I gotta hand it to him. This is a manly player, Yvonne. This is a manly name. Or womanly, if you know they are a woman. Alright, back to the queue again. My friends and fam. Ooh, the zero second Q. I like the zero second Q. That's how it should be. Why am I player two all the time? It is tougher to be player two and, and get ahead. In this game. They're doing my strats against me. Hmm. Well, we're gonna want healing, but I don't want this. Since I have two rejuvenators, and that's basically my next turn, I think... I think what I'll do is set up my walls like so. And we'll just sit like this.
A winter blade. Oh, interesting. And a Borean bear. <laughs> hmm, not to be careful around this bear. I don't want to concede all of the monotiles though. We can go up to six, which isn't enough to do what I want to do. I could get rid of his thing. Might be worth it to get rid of his thing and just take a bunch of damage. I was supposed to deny this monotile first, but that's right. We'll do it like this instead, so that my guy is out of range of the bear. I'm being tempted! Tempted! Sloth would be pretty solid here. Assuming I'm not surrounded by walls right now. I'm gonna do this. This way I can't be surrounded by walls on the next turn. So we'll have at least some movement options to utilize. An actual bomb with rocket drop, unfortunately, no. <laughs> no actual bomb. You hit the face, my guy? I'm okay with this, that JPEG. You hit the face, I've got two, six, eight, ten, thirteen damage. So they better heal. <laughs> They better heal or they better kill my shit. Or they gonna die. Oh good, they're going face. I love when my opponents go face. Unfortunately, the spine is in the way. So... This plus this is enough damage still, right? So that would be 6, 10, 12, and then I- yeah, okay. I love when my opponent goes face. Here, we have to min-max. We'll do, uh, we'll do this.
So that positioning on the previous turn with the walls was... Mwah, because my opponent decided to greed for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why they decided to hit me. We're, we're playing very similar decks, so... I don't know. I, I, I saw that it was similar. They should have known I was on a similar deck. And then they should have figured, yeah, I'm gonna die. Probably. There's a lot of ways to kill them from that position. This is way too vulnerable. Yeah, it's on six cards. I had a lot of options. Could have hearth sistered into some stuff. Could have crim cold. They already saw I had a flame blood warlock, so they know I have out of hand damage. You can assume I've got piercers and shit. And obviously we're running the most busted card in the game. In my opinion, which is two mana aspect of the worm. It is so strong. The reason why I'm playing Vanar right now, and I'm not I don't have like a hyper fine-tuned deck in my opinion, but I think Vanar is kind of insane at the moment. Kind of insane. We got Better, we have the best possible Fenrir stat distribution, the most competitive stat distribution out of all the variations with that 1 HP shifting. And we have the most busted 2 mana spell in the game. And it's just like, it's crazy. Vanar is crazy. Amazing Racer! I haven't obtained that yet, but this is a nice looking thing. I should probably try to play Amazing Race and get that title before I miss my chance to get it. Maybe I'll worry about it later. Uh, let's do this. <clears throat> have I seen Arx's article? I have not seen Arx's article now. Feel free to link. I've been very out of touch. Uh, Dual Track stream and Chocobo stream and Valhalla streams are all I've been watching and Valhalla hasn't been streaming. And I know that uh, Calvin's in Japan having a great time hopefully. So he's not streaming. At the moment. Do I play conservatively or not conservatively? Who needs conservativeness when you can play aggressive? You know what? Ah, I have to. I was gonna say, I really don't want this here in case he's got the card. But that's fine. And I don't care if he gets HP on his guys or not, but we're just gonna do this. But yeah, I haven't seen uh, Arx's article. Whoops. I mean, turn it down too much. He does have the spell. That's a pretty good Rift Walker. Pretty good for me. We avoided a lot of Dimash. And Scrimson's out of cards. Okay, so we know they've got Rifty Boy. Our hand's good for Hyper Aggro, and again, not sure I care about him getting HP on this guy. This will die to a Night Star Assassin. This also dies to Night Star Assassin. I haven't, with the change, and I haven't changed my deck. 
I have not changed this since the update, but I was thinking I should probably play Primus Fist. But I'd have to replace something for Primus Fist, and I don't know what. <clears throat> Just a dodge NSA in this matchup. I'm gonna replace my Chrome Cold here. Hey, we can't really dodge NSA. We use this 2015, possibly. Since I can sort of dodge Night Star Assassin. Well, I had to move down one space. I can't dodge her now. All right, we'll just do this. It's not a big deal. We'll just do this. I don't care. I don't care. I know this is donating to that guy. I don't care. <clears throat> What's good, Nanger? If it's 2015 again, does this mean your website works? Let me uh, pop open this article. A hollow Pokemon battle. Indeed, good morning, Kryptonim. Welcome on in. Are you familiar with Duelist Kryptonim? This is one of the other games that I play on occasion. The patch according to Discord. Oh, cool. Vitruvian's in last place, and yet there's so many people playing Vitruvian, apparently. <laughs> Summary infographic shrug high. <laughs> Never seen this game in your life when I playing that RPG dungeon impossible one. RPG dungeon. What RPG dungeon? Oh uh, yeah, Sheeran. I did finish most of what I want to do is Sheeran the Wanderer. We've completed every dungeon, we have every achievement except for like weapon collector and armband collector. I will play some more on the side, a little bit, to get the other stuff, but I'm quite satisfied uh, with where we're at. We're gonna do this and I'm gonna hit for two new game yeah new games are always interesting what's good chill how you doing the hot take on that link they hated Bladum for speaking the truth oh, I haven't gone through the whole thing yet Now, I'll admit, I'm not exactly a high brain guy. So, the average approval of the patch, I assume, on a scale of 1 to 5 is 3.69. So, people are pretty indifferent about the patch, or at least about 40 card deck limits coming back. I'm gonna need time to like go through this. Damn, he cleared my whole board. I, I did not see that coming. <clears throat> Alright, we got rid of two of the uh, things. I guess I need to slow the game down a little bit here. I think I'll just do this for right now. 
So Revenant happens, we hit it with this because Revenant probably hits this. Doubt it hits my face. This is too slow now. <clears throat> it has the second highest fun factor after Anna. Yeah, we knew this was happening. Revenant on cue. As usual. So, I think we just... Hmm. I can only play these two if I want to play these two. I could set up a shield and just surround with this. We might want this for next turn to finish. Uh... If I heal, I can punch. How do I prepare to, to kill them the best? Would be 2, 4, 6, right? And then have this, so I'm not healing. Alright, and then we got plus 6, that's 8, that's 10 next turn. Well, this is getting used. I could save this for out of hand damage next turn instead. We'll do this. Do I go to 11? Yes, I do. How to tell is winning? Can I tell what's going on? It's not as obvious as Hearthstone. Alright, so this is Duelist. This is a board-based card game. It's like a tactics card game mix. You have a player on the left side. That's me at the moment, Harpoo. You can see my name on the top left. And then I'm fighting Scrims and Soul C, who started on the right side. And we come together and start interacting with each other. And it does become a little intricate. But, uh, yeah, it's great fun. Damn, I'm off damage a little bit here. <clears throat> this is 11, right? 6, 9, 10, 11. We're off by 1. So I think we just do this and honestly I should probably hit face right this thing doesn't matter I'm just gonna kill this thing it might matter yeah harpoo that's me oh you made the infographics arcs hasn't added them yet yeah I see the uh <laughs> the just text. Insert shrug emote here. Where are the graphics? <clears throat> so I'm guessing the number in the brackets is how many people voted for that thing. So like under Ooster, it says buffed 19, that's 19 votes that was buffed, and 7 votes it's situational. Nobody voted it was nerfed, which is fine. Knights are assassins. Six people think it's nerfed. I think I would lean on the uh, NSA is buffed overall, personally. 
Well, they didn't whip it in Narnia. They're actually killing it. They're doing their due diligence because I'm a Vanor player. I have 14 HPs. So this would give me 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14. All right, and now this gives me an extra three, which I think is the same amount of damage regardless. When it sucks, it really sucks. The one with damage minion kill doesn't suck at any kind of matchup and feels more fair. What happened? Did I miscount? My bad. I miscounted. Uh. How do I fix this? Apparently I can't. <laughs> I missed lethal. What did I do wrong? I missed lethal. I thought I counted lethal. I had 14, right? I had 13. Oh, uh, I had to. I had to. I had to hailstone and flame blood and do flame blood again. My bad. My bad. I was too lost in thought about the stuff that was linked to me, and it cost me an entire game. You guys are right, though. I would say this is not necessarily aimed at kids. Not necessarily. Hmm. The hospital is calling for my mother and they're actually wishing her a happy birthday because they have that information That's weird. I don't think I've ever heard the hospital call to wish happy birthday before Okay What do we want to do here? I could kill this guy and just develop a Fenrir Play slow. Place I could do 3 and 2, but I'll just play slow. We'll just deny this mana tile and play 3 back here. Wish her a happy B day too. Well, thanks. I'll let her know. Chat wishes her a happy birthday. Getting dragoned, We're getting venard. We're being venard. Hmm, what is the best response here? I actually don't really have a great response. Can kill this, kill the dragon, just develop uh, Fenrir again. Put him in the corner. Stay in position. I could, I could move back one so the enemy Fenrir can't hit me. Uh, if I'm not playing this this turn... Earth Sister doesn't really do anything for us here. Yeah, I think we'll play it slow still.
Let's just get Fenrir number two up and running. Did I get her anything? Well, I have no money. I can't buy things, but pancakes were made this morning, and we are going out to Olive Garden later. She likes Olive Garden and desires to go out, so that's where we're going. It's not too bad of a turn, right? Ooh. We can get a favorable, uh. some favorable kills. Lip. Hmm. Now, how do I do this in a way that the walls are useless and I can still. uh. do what I need to do? I guess I can't really. I want to get rid of the Winter Blade, so I think we leave up the Heart Sister, but I don't want this guy to die for free. So maybe I don't get rid of the Winter Blade on this turn, and I get rid of the Heart Sister instead. Or we could do this. Uh I can dispel their shield next turn. Yeah, I think I'll hit for three. We'll back the wolf up and have it kill the her sister. As for cards in hand, the hand is generally decent. They only have two though, so I guess we don't really want Hailstone. <clears throat> Pancakes were made. Pancakes were made. Breakfast was made. I do all of the work in the house for the old lady. That is my mother who doesn't really need material things. <laughs> Don't come at me. No ZXBF to make pancakes for. <clears throat> Blush. Well, I guess it's up to ZX to blush or not. Ooh, the aggressive Razorback play. And we're going face. He did it last time. It worked out so great. Come on, PKP. Hit me with six. Do it. Watch what happens. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> ah, he learned his lesson. He's still hitting me for five, though. Just still very strong. <clears throat> that was a lot of damage that we just took on that turn. Um, <laughs> mm, I might want a tempo.
I'm gonna take a chance here on something. So am I the dooly bully or is instead of him getting bullied by the other players? I am definitely never the dooly bully. Not me, no sir. <laughs> the dooly bully. That should be a title in game actually. That's a pretty good one. I propose we add that to the game devs. The Dooley Bully. I don't know how it would be rewarded, but that's a good title. Make sure to credit you. Credit Chiral for Dooley Bully. Aspect of the mountains. I didn't think about aspect of the mountains. Unfortunately, this is gonna kill us. So I guess we can do this. Which pops their artifact. And then we set up our shield and what? Can't really do anything else. I suppose I'm going to kill their wall just so they can't hit my guy with it. Whoa, song weaver. That makes sense with the winter blade. <clears throat> Hearth Sister would have been pretty nice there. Mm. Can't do anything with this hand, unfortunately. Like, I guess the play... Nah, that wouldn't work, because the dude has 6 HP instead. It's such a bad turn, but it's my only way out, so we'll do it for the me. <laughs> so we're gonna do this, and then this, and then smack the dude, and that's our way out. <laughs> so bad. Just too far behind now. Do a little transformation bedazzlement magic. Hey, you got us. I would have had to have seen oh, the Razorback turn. I needed to do something else so that turn wasn't as damaging as it was. But I'm not sure what I could have done instead. That wasn't lethal yet? It was lethal. I had 4 HP, he did 1 damage with flame blood, and he's standing on a red tile. 
for the other three damage. Okay, back to uh back to our waiting programming. So this is the situation. What was I doing in here? So we had back to back games that were pretty quick. I don't remember. Or I have to I have to fuse this whole side and ignore this other side. Uh well there's still a chance over there. Hey, they they touched. Right, now for the hard part. All right, we gotta get a melon somehow. I think knocking this one down on the here would be the way to go. So let's do this, this, this. I was hoping that red would be under, but this should be okay. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe if I do this. Damn it. That's not ideal at all. <laughs> hmm, how to fix? What even is the sussy game? Are you familiar with Suica game? It's Suica game. It was all the rage a couple months ago. Came out of nowhere and took the internet by storm for <clears throat> like a month or so. Not this version of it. This is an imitator. <laughs> But I don't have the actual Suica game. This came for free on a different game that I have. So that's why I play it on this version now. You, you just make matches. Until you get a... We got, we got the biggest one in the middle there. You need two of the biggest ones so they match and they disappear. And that is how you get a high score. And it's pretty, pretty damn hard to, uh, get two melons without losing. Hmm. Let's do, like, this, this, this. This, this. This, 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 this. I don't think I'm going to have enough space. Unfortunately, because the bottom right is filled in. You really need the melon to be occupying that bottom right slot, but we'll do what we can do here. Uh, we got we got ourselves some van or action. Uh, he's pretty good. I'm gonna keep him. Oh, another amazing racer. Was this the same person? Good luck. Have fun. My place was slaughtered. Pog. <laughs> my, my sloth portals were really beneficial for PKP in that last one. Well, I guess I draw my opponent cards because I guess I do that.
We'll just deny the man ramp. I don't want to donate my Fenrir outward, but... I need to try to get ahead somehow. one of these I guess we want the value here and then I won't be too aggressive this time around we'll back off one I don't know how big the bear might get Hey man in general, thank you. <clears throat> I don't know if you're in here, PKP. I do try. I try to dream sloth it up with their own card. Glacial Elemental. Is he going to kill my bubble smith with that? Or is this just like a single snow chaser? Yeah, he's killing the bubble smith with it. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm thinking we actually might want to hailstone the bear on this turn. And just smack a wall with my artifact engaged. This is hard to develop. Alternatively, we could... Mm. Yeah, I don't think I can justify developing Fenrir while that's out. Is there really a reason to play? <laughs> I guess we'll do this. We'll, 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 we'll see what happens. If they get Fenrir, they get Fenrir. We'll try to dev the Fenrir. I was thinking getting an artifact up would be better. And maybe just punch the bear. I was going to hailstone the wall and punch the bear. <laughs> because there's no reason to put the, uh, the bear back in. Just like there's no reason to put this back in. I'm not sure what the best line of play would have been there. Person visit twin bag for nerf, no comment given.
Damn, we're getting wrecked by another early Razorback play. But they opted for clearing. Hmm. Well, I don't want to put myself on blue. Uh, we might need to get some HP back. We don't need double artifact right now. That guy's not exactly helping us out. I think I'm just gonna eat five and stand here. We'll kill this thing. I'm gonna do green. Put myself on blue, which I might regret. Maybe I won't eat five. We're gonna see where this takes us in the in the world. I don't know how I feel about this though. I saved 9 damage now. I was debating on just punching the bear, but I can't really set up anything to deal with the 9 attack over here, so... There's that glacial elemental again. Right, and then we'll probably get surrounded by walls. And some other entity. We get hit for eight on this turn. So this just sets us irreparably behind. I suppose we'll stall like this and even if bubble smith gets cleared I don't want to get cleared by the dragon I don't want to get cleared by this guy either should I stand bubble smith on this tile so it would trade a little more favorably or deal an extra damage If they're on red and they're here, they take two, that's uh, 15, they'll be at 14 HP, we have five, I have no other damage out of hand right now. Maybe we'll just, no, I might need this. Eh. Eh. Not sure what to do. You haven't seen Draugar for seasons? I feel like Draugar would be okay. I don't typically play with Draugar myself, but he'd probably be okay. I 
I'm not expecting Draugar Lord. If they play Draugar right now, we definitely lose. Probably lose. Probably lose regardless. We're so far behind. This is the second time a Razorback on turn three as player two has been problematic for me. Lady Lock. Okay, that's the game. We'll concede. Vespir, good stuff. They got too carried away this time around. I have a spirit orb. Oh, uh, PKP's on the high. It's waving the red banner. I have to figure out if I'm going to get triple eight gates again <laughs> or not. Tusk for opener. Well, it doesn't stop me from doing what I was going to do, and I guess we want to keep the Hearth Sister for next turn so we can trade favorably. Uh, I guess we'll do this and then put our dude up here. Because Tuspor can reach it, but he has to punch the wall and take center. GG Virschwam. You played very well. Flame Blood Warlock. I know. I'm gonna save two HP now, so we go to twenty one. I guess we'll just keep Fenrir over here. And we get a hearth sister developed. As for this thing, I'm gonna have it cover my back just in case shenanigans happen. This is weak to uh, sword inner focus though. But I can only play around so much. Lol. <laughs> but am I taking five? I could just develop Razorback and then everything trades with the uh, Kashrai. If I take five, we go to 16 against Songhai. We're adjacent to their general. We know they have a Tusk Board in hand as well, so their burst potential is tremendously high. Make them have it? This way I can trade into a Tusk Boar, so at least it can't inner focus and hit me. Unless he, like, throws on extra pings, which, you know, Songhai can do. Pretty easily. I think this is fine, because next turn is 6 mana, Blazing Spines, Rejuve, and... 
Hey, we're getting sorted now. That's a bit annoying. <clears throat> And Kaido enter. That's very annoying. That was a really strong turn from them. Well, this isn't helping. This isn't really helping. And that's not really helping either. I guess I lose then. I should have played around the uh, sword. I was thinking the most likely outcome was a juxta play was gonna happen with like a killing edge on the thing since they played the mid-range monster but now we just die to whatever they want yeah inner focus fair and balanced card Fair and balanced. <clears throat> this card would not exist if I had any say in Duelist design. Not in my Duelist. Inner focus. Save a spine seal. Long high stuff. Good old song high. Ah, oh, Demi Remy on the green skins. Sorry, I drew all three focus. <laughs> They always have all of them. There's only two in that game. Can't use that excuse. But what they did draw is the answer my thing or lose trait. And it worked really well. I had to answer the thing or lose and we, we lost for answering it. I don't really see a benefit in turning this into an egg on this turn. I think we'll just uh, do something like this and pass. What is this Yoshi and why is he loose? That's, that's Yath. Yoshi Vath. The name of the Magmar General is Vath. That's a fan skin. So it's a mod. You just have to edit the uh, image file. Someone worked pretty hard on this. It's great, isn't it? Swole Yosh Yoshiva. Pop my bubble, yo. My bubble. I'm getting Flash McCantored. That's not that bad for me, considering I can undo the damage, so his Flash Mechanter just killed two minions. Should I surround him with walls instead? Let's think. Plasma Storm exists. <laughs> so, no, I shouldn't. He could also just kill everything with, uh... Anachronize if that's still played. Yeah, I guess we just play it slow and heal. I will move up top, I think. I'll hit this. And we'll just deny the mana tiles. So it doesn't have extra mana to work with. We'll go back to 20. Yeah, I know it's a lot of work to make stuff like this, but I do hope other people make other skins. I certainly can't be ours to do a full suite of pixel art and not get paid for it. <laughs> but uh, power to the people that, that put in that kind of effort.
Tank Cloak Coiler. Healing Mystic. Fast Smash. I can smash too, Vath. I can smash too. The reason why I'm doing this is because I can use Chromatic Cold to get rid of his plus six status on the next turn. Now, I did leave. I was thinking Sloth here might make more sense. So we can't just mechantor these two. And maybe I should have slothed here instead. Okay, he's going for the triple hit with mechantor. I didn't want all of this to get hit with Mac Daddy. Too off. Let's do a little bit of a... I'm gonna greed. If he heals, we're in a bad position. He likely will heal. worm would be exact lethal yeah let's just let's just say I calculated for that when I made my split and uh, it didn't work out we did not draw a worm Is this third Mac Daddy? A oh, Rifty. Rifty boy. So he's got eight, ten. He needs four damage with four mana. That's an Elucidator. Well, it looks like we're not getting Elucidated. Yeah. 
Healing Mystic. Alright, sadly, I have to, uh, how you say, work for it, right? What do we want to do? Alright, here's gonna be my logic behind this. I'm gonna give him a Cantor back because we basically want to distract him for a turn. I'm gonna move down so I can reach him no matter where we go. We'll get rid of the Aminor. I'm gonna do this. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and we want to block off. Oh no, I I forgot about the red tile. God damn it. <clears throat> I, I think I, I just die then. I wanted to keep this guy in place and this guy in place so they can't all get to me. Even with a Mechantor and I figured with Mechantor getting played he's out of mana to do other stuff. But I didn't have time to do what I wanted. Felt unsolvable. I think there's a way to solve that. I mean I could have gone up. And then I could have killed the Mechantor, maybe. I should have killed the Mechantor with my bubble shield. Classic mulligan into replace into the cardi mulligan. When do we get to incorporate the London mulligan that MTG has? We well, can't possibly get the same cards you're throwing away <laughs> back. I mean, you still can extra copies, but you're far less likely to see them again. Uh, let's see. Just the center war master. I'll just do center war master. Scrims and soul is the um, they've got grasp of agony in their deck, right? Okay, I'm just going with face. Alright, since we know they have Grasp of Agony...
Let's replace this. Wow, wow, wow. What is this? This is, uh, Duelist Gaming. I don't want their grass to be absolute, so we're gonna not fill in that one space that's up there and do this instead. Because we know they have the grass with Agony. Let's go dual track. Welcome on in, some little gameplay. Was that a copy pasta? about Duelist being a tactically enriching video game. Actual dually gaming? Okay, yeah, we mitigated a little bit. And they just played an empty soul slave. Let me replace first, we don't I could, I could. Yeah. Likely you're doing this. Their hand's full at the moment, so. I don't think I'm doing that. Is this lethal? It's five. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Alright, we're one off lethal. I'm just gonna do the one off lethal play. <laughs> so, this is what should have happened in the Magmar game, but it did not happen in the Magmar game. And because we know they have Grasp of Agony and shit, we're gonna put this down here for later resource usage. AKA a Heart Sister Replace or another. Drake if they somehow weasel out of this situation I don't think they can kill me with their deck because they're the they're the azure horn shaman variant so I'm guessing they're like ramp and sack horn shaman for value I don't think they're gonna kill us Yeah, they're gonna put another thing here just to get me hit, but it's not gonna be enough. Something has to trade into the wolf, and that's not going into my face. And if it's a rift walker, it's still not gonna be enough. Avoid pulse. That's fine. Unfortunately, they had a rejuvenator, so the game's gonna go on for longer. Hmm. hmm. <clears throat> All right, how do we play it? We have to have over 8 HP by the end. We go up 8, 9, what, 11? And then we go back down to 10, 9. If I hit. So I can't die to a revenant out of hand. And we'll have a 4, 4. With some walls as well. Uh, if they heal somewhere, they heal somewhere. I think we kind of have to do this. We'll put them to five. This is not enough damage. Well, this is enough damage, actually. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh yeah, that one. That's that's the one. You guys are on it. <laughs> we die to rev. No, we don't. That's eight damage. Why do we die to rev? This is calculated. He plays rev. He's out of mana, and then I kill him because I have sloth chromatical. I don't have a great follow-up. What are you talking about? I don't have a great follow-up. I have lethal, bro. This is... This is calculated, my guys. Come on, chat. I know we don't play duels too often, but come on. Slide the red tile. I could have put it under him, yeah. I could have put it under him. Now, that, that was all calculated. Revenant means they lose in that situation. That's why I did what I did. Okay, are we back to long Q? Long Q means I have to finish this mess. Which I don't know how we're gonna win this. Oh, come on. That's bullshit. That's some bullshit, yeah. There you go. Now, it's actually fine these two don't touch because we need to make two more of them, which I don't see that happening in this attempt, but we'll, uh, we'll do what we do here. You need a booty version of what that game is, you know, for science. I'm sure it's out there somewhere. Suica game was really popular. They had so many knockoff games on Steam. You can find them all on Steam and whatnot. Okay. This ain't gonna work, but... This one on the right needs to turn into this one on the left. Somehow. I can just spam clicking, we'll have five seconds. To uh, make a miracle happen. <laughs> yeah, I think it's game over here. It didn't work out for us, unfortunately. Ah, shake them. Oh well. I've cleared the, the final melon once. Only once. And that was it. It's really hard to do. I know what you're all thinking. You're like, huh. So this is what Harpoo gets involved with when he's not playing games on stream. <laughs> Look at that stacking. exactly what I want. Oh shit, we got we got duelist happening now. Alright, round two. 
I have no good opener. Okay, we have an opener. Good luck, have fun. I think we'll keep their hand. Cold biter could be handy. I would like a cold biter. Not cold biter. Snow piercing. One of those ice themed weapons that we have. Lancer and time clip coiler in my face. Donated to me. <clears throat> hmm. 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 No, I don't really need this on this turn, but I might want it later. And since we might be eating some damage, I might want this later too. I'm debating on just playing Flame Blood Bubble Smith. Bubble Smith after I take the five damage, so Phalanx or can't really hit me for four, and then we recover later. Do I replace our sister? What else would I want here? Walls? Snow piercers? Yeah, I'm just gonna do um, the aforementioned play. And if Bubble Smith gets hit, then Bubble Smith gets hit. I'm just gonna deny this mana. It's already my lunch time. <clears throat> We'll play some more dually. I'll, I'll push another hour and then I might stop streaming just to eat some food and I will ideally be streaming again later tonight as I am awake and stuff. Marty's description on the hatchling is really, really apt. That is an enjoyable read right there. I don't have to do that on this turn. I want to. I want to set up the Fenrir. I think. Here is very out of the way. I'm gonna put Fenrir next to the enemy general. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that too.
So I noticed since we went back to 40 card decks, everybody's got Rejuvenator in their deck again. Silifier Elder would be problematic. I don't really have an answer for it. Vindicator, Rejuvenator. Hmm. All right, we won't need this then. Um, Mac Daddy. Not easy to play around Mac Daddy and try to capitalize a little bit on. The situation here. Suppose I'll move this guy up, we'll hit for three. I can go up here and then I can't get hit by Mac. Then we can do red. Uh, <clears throat> I'll just do green blue. Because I don't want to deal one less to the enemy. Do I play this or do we play Bubble Smith? I think we have to do the Fenrir, right? Mm, we could do walls.
This would die to the Machinator. I suppose. But we'll play it like this. Let's see what happens. Things are looking dire. They're healing back to full HP and they're cloaking the time. Okay, so they want to keep the game going for a bit. I think they have the green dozer for sure. They have the green dozer. Um, hmm. how much is a wolf? It's two mana. I'm gonna put this here, I'm gonna put this here, and we'll see what happens. And then I'm gonna put these... Yeah, I'm gonna put these two walls here. I'm gonna leave his guy up. Himself on blue. Played a second Rift Walker. Um, hmm. 
I'm just gonna try a very defensive style and hope for a Razorback miracle of some sort. And the, the idea is I can't be vindicated over here and it's kind of hard for his general to get me. I haven't seen Plasma Storm yet. It's very vulnerable to Plasma Storm. Well, I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know if Demi Remy's running it in their 40. Or maybe it's a one of. Shrouded. The third Rift Walker and a heal. So I have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, um, possibly 18. Can't cast all this though. I think I have lethal. stuff here it's not the card can I work with this maybe this is six this is four so that's eleven I am vulnerable to a, a Mac daddy here unfortunately this this guy was supposed to move one space not two but I couldn't calculate where exactly I needed him in my head. Alright, that's the Cantor. I have 18 damage to deal. 
We only have 11. And we're minus 2. On the damage to deal department. So. Uh, we don't want this. We don't want these either. This is most unfortunate. <laughs> Let's turn the wolf into a dragon. We kill this and replay the wolf. Keep her in the back? Keep her here, I guess? I have to put her here. I'm gonna have to make it so if he wants to mac, he has to station it near his dude. How much do you cost to replay? Three? Those unfortunate draws. There's like nothing I could do. Or maybe, maybe it'll be helpful here. Unfortunately, it's not. We got macked regardless. Uh. <clears throat> it's not working out so well for V2, so I think it's time we do low tier memes. The variation on V2. His oats. So that to your memes is essentially the same thing, but Sarlacc, and I think Deja Vu. I actually forget what else was in this deck. <laughs> the Phalanx here. Yes, it's a Sarlacc variant. So, we're playing Sarlacc, because everybody loves Sarlacc in Duelist. Who can smirk harder? <laughs> Alright, Shroud's fine, because we have a Deja Vu Engineer. Could also put him back in my hand before I Deja Vu Engineer. And get some value. Try not to get smirked. I'll try. Uh, let me think. I can use all six of our mana here. And get a bunch of walls out. So, I'm going to move down two so we don't take eight. And we're going to do this. We'll do this. And we'll do this. And we'll keep our hand as is. Warming the Sarlax stocks. We'll see. We'll see. We got our boy back though. He was feeling helpless. His power sapped away by a weird purple dog thing. And now he returns to us once again. If Oates is uh, on an aggro list, I guess we can hide in the corner and... That's, that's fine. I could take four now to get the Sarlacc engine going, or we could save four and uh, get our corner ready. Hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm thinking I slaw. I'll keep the red tile back here. Because I don't need it right now. I'm going to put green in the corner for later. If we're going to hide from like a crab combo or an elucidator, try elucidator combo. Later. I think we just do this for right now. Save me, Dream Sloth. Save me from all the aggro you put into the game that you love to do so much of. The out of hand, unpreventable damage with no interactivity. <clears throat> scary, scary DPS. He's putting something on blue. So this is Dater. Oh, great fortitude. Oh dear god. I have to put it back in this hand. Can't kill it. Uh, can't kill you, this Dater. Hmm. I'm tempted to step on blue and then hit the elucidator, deal two damage to the opponent for free. <laughs> and then put it in his hand. But that doesn't seem very good. The boss music makes this funny. Ah, this guy might be too slow right now. Oh, good. This is a good answer to elucidator. All right, we're going to do this. We're going to chill in... Uh, no, I have to kill it. I should have punched it first. I should have punched it first. So I have to be in blue, which sucks. But I guess we can do a full surround of sorts. It's whatever. For some reason I thought it took two damage. It only took one from Sloth. I wasn't paying attention. But I missed out on pushing him down to 19, which could be very relevant. It's a minor mistake, but a mistake all the same. Ah, oh, right. They changed the Lucidator too. You're right. I haven't played since the the updates. Never mind. Lucidator is good again. <laughs> it's very good again. All right. Uh, what do we what do we want to do about this guy? Let's replace a Deja Vu engineer. Let's uh consider your options here. I could just put that in his hand for tempo. And then sloth. We could start the uh deja vuing. The deja vuing. Alright, we're gonna do this. Just get rid of it. Make it go away. We have five mana. So four and one. Full surround again. Depends on where Sarlacc spawns. Pretty good spawn. Pretty good spawn. Uh, I don't want to stay on blue though. I'd rather not. I'd rather come up here and be by my wall. So I think we'll just do this and this and this. <clears throat> okay, we'll just do this. We're in this weird timeline, the meta is the same as it was on beta launch, but with blue being good as well. Right. 
The meta is as it was. And somehow Vitruvian, despite... Despite being nothing but buffed. Portal Guardian buffed. Siphon Energy buffed. Uh, uh, Syzygy added to the game. <laughs> Isirix buffed. E everything's been buffed. And they're still rated, according to Arx's voting, as the weakest faction in the game. It's mind-boggling <laughs> to me. Are the other factions really so over the top? Powerful? For that to be the case? All right, let's see here. I've got, um, this guy's moving forward. <clears throat> we got double raise back. I don't think we're playing it right now. I need to look out for a tri Luke. So I think we just play this and put me on a green tile. And I have to put a put him on a red tile. So we can do red, green, blue. Just let this guy go down. That's fine. I sit on green, and then we can do this as well. <coughs> I forgot to put a red tile there. I can't. I can't put the star like there. A, a tactical befuddlement. I don't think I need Aspect of the Mountains. Vet can beat Red, which is a feat. Well, of course Vet can beat Red. Didn't you watch Team Wars? Vet can certainly beat Red. Dun 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 Alright, he dispelled. He mac daddied. Again. Alright, we've got five, ten... And the other one is just clear. It's only 10 damage, but it'll bring me back into the game. I still probably die to... I have to play a Bubble Smith to ensure we don't die. So just one razor back is fine. And then that's six and we have nine. I don't think we want this. We might want this. We might not have the luxury of the second razor back on the next turn. I may need the protection. Hmm. I'm gonna replace a razor back. Alright, this changes things. Because so we can lock him in. Which is really good. Uh dun, 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 dun. we'll do red. Green blue. Move this guy here. Raise it back in the face. Kill this. Kill this. Hit face, hit face. I hide in the corner. I might die to Riftwalker Elucidator. I might die to Riftwalker Elucidator, but I guess this is what we do. Baby, don't hurt me. No more. Wait, people, someone, someone thought Anachronize is over nerfed? I thought Anachronize is, uh, fine. It's better as is. I mean, it's not better compared to the old version, but it's better for the game. Ooh, hot takes. Yeah, I finally got to the hot takes part of this article. Anonymous. They hated Bladim for speaking the truth. Gee, I wonder who that could be.
I live! I didn't die! But where is that? It's, uh... If someone wants to link dual track, I can link it. I just need a second to copy paste. It's in this article here that Arcs did. Did like a community survey, it seems, and at the bottom is the hot takes. For this patch. Opinions on this patch. Math? <laughs> like, why did they walk up towards me? I don't know. No problem. Oh, yeah, oats and the sh three chevrons. It's good that low tier meme stands a chance against Agro Magmar. He was never ready for the Sarlacc army. Brain damage from the Sarlacc. That's the whole point. It's not even the competitively Sarlacc deck. It's just to be weird. And to prey on the fact that people really hate Sarlacc for some reason. I, I, I attest and stand by the fact that I think as a card, Sarlacc is completely fine. It enables some really stupid shit. But there's plenty of ways of dealing with it. I just, I don't know, Sarlacc never bothered me. You hate Sarlacc? Fuck Sarlacc. <clears throat> yeah, this card won't die and I have to put a tech in my deck in order to deal with it. Yeah, I can't do my OTK combos and shit, because Sarlacc's in the way. Yeah, it would be nice if we had more three drops. I saw that mentioned in the article too. Someone said that we're lacking three drops. Overall, duelist, duelist. I love you, duelist, but one, I wish you weren't so out of hand on interactability, and two, you, you do need more cards. We need more cards. I have been playing this game since it was an alpha. I have been playing with the same fucking cards since 20, what, 16? Almost a decade in two years, I have been playing with the exact same base set of cards. And it's not just me, it's everybody, all of you, who have been hanging around Dulles have been playing with the same cards for eight years. If that doesn't say something about how much we want to love Duelist, I don't know what does. Was it a different thing back in Alpha? It was a 5 mana 4-4 four, four Frenzy monster. Or a 4-3 or something. Yeah. It was 1 mana cheaper in Alpha. But it was usually pretty much how it is now. My Cantor didn't change too much over the years. Bring back Alpha McCantor. Five mana McCantor, please, no. As a guy who played Magmar, it was necessary to have five mana McCantor. Because Songhai had five mana Spiral Technique, which did five damage to any target on the field and five damage to the enemy general's face at the same time. 5 mana, 10 damage. That's how fast paced Duelist was in Alpha. <laughs> and the logic behind it being okay? Songhai was supposed to be the polar opposite of Lionar. And Lionar has uh, whatever they have. The 5 mana, 5 damage, heal 5. That card survived. Throughout the years. I can't remember the name of it at the moment. Yeah, so Sarlacc was two mana. Yep, yep. He used to be a two mana guy. There's some really funny things in the old, old, old Duelist. The game was... It was extreme. Yeah, it's an extreme passion project, but there's some really overtuned cards. <laughs> Circle, yeah, that's the one. Uh, while we're waiting, I guess we can play some more Booba. I'm Booba Jockey over here. Mm -hmm 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 -hmm. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Damn, that, that just upsets me so very much that that happened. <laughs> I can't get this in here. Ah, oh, it's awful. It's awful. Whatever. I'll make do. Huh? Yeah, I fixed it. I fixed it. <clears throat> Four mana source was kind of cool. He is very strong. I think generally in Dola's stuff was like the idea of the game was to be mobile initially, I think. So they wanted games to be 15 minutes. And everything was hyper fast paced. I want duelist. My ideal duelist games would be in the 25 ish minute range and more tactical. But we're, I'm not gonna get what I want. And that's fine. I will continue to play duelist as it is. So I don't mind having long fatigue matches. I find them to be quite hilarious. Uh... <laughs> I'm sure that won't be impactful later. Change category to pools and bikinis. <laughs> but there's no pools nor bikinis, so that would be categorically inaccurate. And that would get me in trouble, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure Twitch doesn't give two shits, but... There's only cute anime girl faces. Busts. Is there a busts category? Is that like a thing? Okay. This is good. That's workable. Okay, now I gotta fuse the middle one up. You can stream softcore porn just chatting as well. You really can't. I do remember though, what was it, like a few months ago they updated the nudity policy and people went full blown <laughs> and released the beast within. The internet cannot control itself when given permissions to do that stuff. That was quite funny. You know, if Twitch wanted to make multi-billion dollars, I'm sure other people suggested this, but they probably should just make a sister website that is geared towards all things porn. And uh, they would probably make tons of money. It wouldn't even cost them anything. You just take the code base of Twitch and you duplicate it and then you change some things around, maybe give it a new skin. <laughs> it would really take them no time at all. I suppose it would cost some server resources. 
Man, this is a nice nine minute key right here. I'm feeling great about this. I'm just trying to play Sarlacc on the ladder. Is there a ban on Sarlacking people on the ladder to make them upset? Oh, good. <laughs> this situation's gotten precarious here. Oh shit, it's Mezzle G. It's nice to see they still play. I saw them against Chocobo earlier. So I might want to keep this, I might want to keep this. But I'm gonna look for a follow up. Okay, we'll, we'll just tempo out the Bubble Smith. I'll put him. It's Mez! If, if he's gonna like teleport to me and backstab my ass. I'm gonna have a bubble shield on, so this should be fine. Maybe this is a dodge tuspor. You get shadow banned when you play Sarlacc. Excellent news. I'm gonna do. We're gonna do this. Ah, this is Artifact high. Artifact gets around green buff from Sloth, so this is not ideal. And this is kind of wasted. This is also wasted. Our hand is not really built to deal with this. Huh. What do I do? Help Mezzle G kill me? Uh, I think I could help Mezzle G kill me. Blood Rage Mask is back. Uh, I, I would think that the Spell High list should have... In my opinion, it never really went anywhere. People just played some other stuff. Uh, the raw Spell High, if that's what this is, like four wins into all the comboing... ...was always around. I guess I'm going to save myself two damage now because the bubble shield is just going to get pinged away. And we'll just do this. So Rhythm Weaver can't hit my guy. Yeah, it makes sense you've seen the deck more. I mean, I haven't been playing. I don't know what's popular right now, but... This right, this deck right here and Mesel G piloting it, this has always been one of the most powerful decks in the game. And it's always, it's always been there. Um... Her hand is... Not great. Just, just to like try and out tempo <laughs> Mez here and get something going. We're gonna play all the cards in our hand, and that's 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 that. We're gonna play all the cards. I'm gonna summon two walls here and. While I would like to make a 3-4, I need more cards, so I think what we do is kill the wall and turn it into a 2-2, two -two, just to draw a card. And I'm gonna go in the corner. I definitely would prefer the 3-4. Two three fours, but uh, we're gonna take the extra card draw. 
I don't want my artifacts here. Maybe I should have put Deja Vu up here to prevent that backstab. <laughs> yeah, Chakri going back to normal is a huge deal. It's very relevant. This is very relevant. That's a good draw. Unfortunately, I can't do this and this on the same turn, so... This turn sucks, but I'm gonna hope the Chakri Avatar can't reach me. I have to do it this way. Damn, I didn't play my walls. <laughs> I was supposed to play my walls. I, I, d I wasn't sure where I wanted everything to be positioned, so that really sucks. We should have two mementos. Hey, what's good, Harry? And for fairs, hello, hello. I don't think I said hello yet. Vezelji doesn't usually have MDS though. He's usually uh, all three of us, right? And I'm pretty sure it's just Juxta. So this this is worth this is worth because now I got uh, Killing Edge out of him. That didn't have to happen there. There should be two momentous. <laughs> all right, it's fine. Uh, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna play another sloth over here. Me. I don't have to play Sloth. Should I get rid of that card and set up walls? Yeah, I'm gonna do four, five, six, seven. Right? I need. I need only five. <clears throat> I have five left. Hmm. Okay, I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose my guy. Let's let's do this. He can have the Phoenix Fire. <clears throat> oh yeah, he's not three HP because he's not on red. I should have left him on red. But I, I should have put my. Uh, I couldn't do what I wanted to do. I fucked up. <laughs> he's not at 3 HP typically, he's at 4 HP. Bruh, you have to forgive me. I'm rusty, dull track. I'm rusty. I'm washed up. I better be making mistakes if I haven't played the game in, in months, really, in weeks. It's painful to see this. Nice, he has two Phoenix Fires. 
He has one Phoenix Fire, he's keeping his Fox. Okay, there's no extra Phoenix Fires currently. Tuspor will be back in hand. Hmm. Let's burn to one Saber Spine, seal one Killing Edge. can't really hide in the corner because he has a mask, right? If he equips a mask, I guess I'll deal with it then. Let's, um... I'll do this. This feels like standard D Gen. The song high is classic song high. This is uh what would you call it? Is this hyper efficiency song high? <laughs> Sarlacc and Van are which we're trolling. It's for the mental damage. <laughs> yeah, shush, hey, shush. We have Sarlacc and Deja Vu Engineer to multiply the Sarlaccs. For no reason other than to have a bunch of Sarlaccs maybe get Razorbacked or turned into Drakes. <laughs> You didn't see Sarlacc in Songhai? Nice, nice. Lol? Nah, he's got one Phoenix Fire in hand. Two Tusk Spores left, because this is the first one. This Tusk Spore does zero damage to me. Ah, I thought it would do zero. I thought the shield would reduce it to one, and then because I'm on green, it would be reduced to zero. I guess that's not how that interaction works. I guess it's reduced to two, and then two is reduced to one. Okay, let's see here. I could bounce both his things just to generate a tiny bit of tempo and then the boar will auto die. I could also just throw out a razorback now and the boar will still auto die. It's probably better. Four, seven, nine. Tempo this away. Yeah, we'll tempo this away. We'll uh, play into Sword of Mechazor a little bit here, but that's alright. Keep the diagonal one as it will be relevant, possibly. You'd replace a Hailstone here, maybe. Yeah, I wasn't. Uh, I thought it was too weak to do double. Double hailstone. All right, second tusk spore. We should be close to out of gas, right? I mean, he's. It depends on how many uh, eight mana cards he's got or seven mana cards. Good job, Sarlacc. Alright, so that's six, eight. If only I had a hearth sister. 
And we have lethal if I had a heart sister. Yeah, yeah, it's probably the plan of attack. But before I do that, we want our guy back so I can bubble shield again. I think I set up a second dragon, so he can't phoenix fire my bubble shield, and I can play it again on the next turn. But I think I'm gonna do this. Play it away from blue? Oh uh, yeah, it probably shouldn't be here. Or here. It's okay if he if he's gonna burn more inner focuses or the third boar just to deal with this, it's fine. <clears throat> I have flame blood warlocks in my deck. I have ways to reach him from a distance. This thing might get me killed, though. I need to get rid of my momentum <laughs> somehow. I don't know how. Banner feels so OP. OP? Mez could... If Mez had Mask, and he's got Mask. We've confirmed he's got Mask. He can pop my bubble shield, and... Uh, Mana Vortex Spiral is... 10 damage with the pop and mana vortex phoenix fire kills me so i'm not op and that would be five cards but i don't know if he can cast the second phoenix fire right because that would be two six is eight no he could do that he could cast those five cards uh six eight I want to set up my bubble. And play Razorback for DPS. While disengaging this. So I think we just dispel this. Set up the bubble here in green. And raise it back over here. I haven't seen Sword of Mechazor yet. I did play in the Sword of Mech inner focus. This should probably be up here. And then I just hope for a heart sister. This should probably be over here or over here. We have uh, nine damage out of hand, though. As long as we don't go to nine HP ourselves. Or uh, six, because we're on green. 
So this is only going to do 6 damage to me. Spiral inner focus means I'm dead. I don't know how, but I believe it because it's on high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Sarlacc, why are you over here? But that's okay. We we distracted Mesalgy enough to kill him. Because of green, you'll have to elaborate how he does 14 damage with a spiral technique and an inner focus, but as I'm not sure. Hell's yeah, green power. Mesalgy's worth like seven chevrons, right? I mean, four. We beat red. We did it with Sarlacc too. That makes that makes it all the better. Oh shit. I guess I'm playing Flame Blood Turn 1. They're gonna be so confused. Okay, we gotta play. Alright, we definitely have a play. Do your own duelist training. Good luck with your training today. Have a good one, Harry. Appreciate you stopping by. <clears throat> I need a Fenrir to bait out the, uh, <laughs> I need to bait the, uh, the Dispel before I can just throw Sarlacc out. So I'm thinking we just tempo here. Yeah, I'm just gonna tempo here. We'll do this. We'll do this. Race for sniping. That's fine. I don't mind if uh, Kai is sniping. I have zero competitive spirit when it comes to playing games. I, I don't care if they can see my hand. There's a funny time I was playing, uh, I think it was Pokemon TCG with my brother. And he started uh, pretending to be psychic, right? Because he could see my hand, and I knew he could see my hand, but I was playing along with him. We had a really funny, a funny game where I, I do think he beat me, but at least he had a good time with it. Cause I knew, I knew he could, like we had a giant mirror in the dining room and we were sitting at the dining room table and I, I was in the seat facing the mirror or in front of the mirror. So he could see my hand through the mirror, but it was good times. It was good times. I think this is a pretty good play. You know, those Vanar things, right? I'm not gonna go for a full surround or anything crazy like that. We're just gonna do this and... Deja Vu Engineer can save this later. I'm gonna keep it out of his range. So if he does dispel it, we'll get it back. Alternatively, we could have hit this frigid spines instead and moved the dragon here. Still can't do a full surround, but we could keep him to the bottom if I wanted to.
Holy shit! <laughs> it's a Zen Riri, guys. What the fuck? Where do I want these walls? I think I want to keep my hand. Where do I want these walls? In case he's got the card. You know, in case he wants to hit me, maybe, maybe. Uh, I don't know how to put him up here. It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna move them anyway. Oh, we can duplicate so many Sarlax. Isn't that great? And then I can walk away. Next turn, I can walk away if he doesn't approach me, and we just let our infinite army do the entire game for us. And that's how the deck works. It's good times. Could be a longer one if he if he doesn't go full aggro here. And if he does go full aggro, we can do five, nine, potentially lethal damage. Okay, he walked away. He walked away. Ah, oh, shit. I do have to look out for Syzygy and, and the like. Um, okay, let's think. I'm gonna move this guy down, we're gonna move this guy forward, we're gonna move Sarlacc down I think I'd rather not take four damage <laughs> but I'm gonna take four damage We're gonna kill this. We're gonna play this uh, up here. I'm gonna move up one. And we're gonna play two two walls. I'm gonna try and force his hand. How many dervishes hit me? Maybe I should have moved up two. Hmm, I didn't think about the star's fury. That's six. That's ten damage. That's a lot of damage on me. No, that's twelve. It's two off lethal, but he can use like a doomcaster or something. I, pro if I probably should have respected star's fury. A little bit there. If he's putting this here, I don't think Star's Fury is happening. Oh, 
Oh, damn! He's draining morale out in here. That's wild. That was a pretty good draw. Maybe he's a full on control list. I should have the luxury of backing off and just making a bunch of Sorlax then. If he's full control. I have to dupe this Sorlax to fix his strength and deferential. And I don't really care that he's got the. The artifact necessarily. I think we just do this. We're just gonna play more Sorlax. I'll ping off his artifact, I guess. Good job, Sorlax. Great spawns, guys. Great spawns. Another Drain Morale is a problem. My Sarlax get wrecked by Drain Morale. <laughs> that's, that's not good. But we have Razorback, so I have the counterplay to Drain Morale. It's not it's not the be all end all. <laughs> he just he just light bended me. I've been bent. My light has been bent. I can't believe that my light has been bent. Oh, I thought the Sarlax positioning was so good, but it was actually so not good. Who whoever would have thought? All right, what do we want to do here? Our hand is way too aggro. If I went face, so we have six, uh, eight, ten. We have ten damage. I don't think going face is the answer here necessarily. Um, We'll do this because the light bender gets too much value otherwise. I'll just do that. Damn that! Damn, the, the the light bender though. The light bender in Vitruvian. Light bender. Oh man, it's, it's like it was put in the deck just to face off against me. Oh, we had such a huge lead <laughs> with the free four damage every time Sarlax cooperated, but now I only have one free damage. Damn, second light bender. We are all in on the bender, you know. I'm not sure what the oops is for. I thought you're just gonna mystic hit and this hit, or this hits here and you hit for four because you don't care, right? 
I don't know what the oops is for. They misplayed something. Alright, well, we've got one more Sarlacc in the deck. Uh, they have an army, and we have nothing. I could equip this artifact now, I guess? <laughs> Am I gonna rely on the hyper bouncing of Flame Blitz? So I can get 12, I can get 15 damage out of it. I used two worms, so yeah, I could bounce it one extra time. Uh, I guess we do this. We'll just throw the walls out there because I got nothing else to do. Equip up. Punch this. I don't know if I care about Ghost Links being in range, but I might, so we'll do this. Uh, and yeah, I'm just gonna keep the rest of my hand. For right now. I was thinking, do I play the Chrome Cold face just to get two more damage and draw two cards out of my deck? But it's fine if we lose one draw. I don't know what their endgame strat is. I assume it's Time Maelstrom, but I'm not sure. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. Oh. I didn't think Zurael was going to be in the deck, but I guess it's a Zurael deck. Okay, well, we kill Zurael. He's got 20 cards to my 17. He'll fatigue me first, so I have to do some gameplay here. Damn, dude. Put him to 11. We have six. I think I'll hold. Rael back in business. I was thinking of making the uh, the Vanar's UIL deck again. I think it'd be very strong right now. Where you uh, have Voice of the Wind and Glacial Elemental and stuff. And you just ramp up the Zurael. Zurael tree and whatnot. I have to hope he doesn't have Syzygy too, right? Probably plays one copy of Syzygy. Since he healed for four, he's out of range, so we'll probably just lose the game now. And there's way too many entities to deal with 
Also, they spread out in a very unrealistic manner, so they're playing around aspect of the mountains. Alright, we'll just concede. They don't need to see anything else from us. I don't think we can get them. They did what they needed to do. They had a Zurael. It was too much for me. I needed to kill them faster. Nah, I think we did things right. We got light bended. We got light bended. I'm gonna play some vet myself. Do some dervish here. Uh, the double light bender killing my Sarlacc advantage was game ending. Nobody even runs the card. Eurasian J thinks that Mana Vortex is the primary card that should be looked at for Songhai Nurse. I just think um, the Fire Faction, the Out of Hand High Burst Damage Faction should not... There's two things they shouldn't have. One is they shouldn't have free cards naturally they should have to work for it aka play a mana forger and two they should not cycle all the fucking things and the fact that the fire faction cycles and doesn't gas out is the reason why they're so good but that would require quite the rework of the faction it's always been my opinion of songhai though they could be very balanced with their power level, as is if they didn't refill their hand every single time they dumped their hand. They should have to spend a turn to refill their hand, which they don't do currently. And then all these cards like Rhythm Weaver, Lantern Fox that just generates stuff. I, I think maybe that would be a fine thing to be their faction identity. Instead of Mana Vortex cycling, maybe they they can have it be Songhai generates their spells from minions getting hit or being interacted with in ways, and that could be cool. If you want to keep uh, Lantern Fox and Rhythm Weaver and... What's the other one that does it? There's another one that does that sort of deal. I don't remember who does it. Oh yeah, we should uh we should play some more Vidra game. Imagine if Songhai had to play minions to generate their tempo for future turns. Whoops. <laughs> I'm not sure where this is headed. That's, uh. Yeah. Let's play Harry. It's Harry. Confirmed. He he did say he was working on his stuff, so here he is working on it. <laughs> Do I the sad mag? Should be happy, happy, happy. I need to stop playing and break for lunch. I would like to hit S rank now, and then I can do some snares later. 
All right, we got free free damage here. Free damage is nice. How do I play around Plasma Storm? I can't, right? I could, but then I have to play into the Vindicator. Plasma Storm. See, I knew he had it. There goes that Vindicator. Should I be worried about the Vindicator? Probably. <clears throat> they opted to move away. I kind of want to play these two. I kind of want to keep this because of the matchup. But if I get a Doomcaster, I would play this in Doomcaster instead. So I'm gonna replace this. Alright, we got a Windblade. So we're gonna do this and separate everything from the plasma, I suppose. We'll see what happens here. Now this is going to get spent to answer our obelisk here, more than likely. <clears throat> and then we can hopefully retaliate. Well, that's the problem. Good old Flash Archon. Flashius Arconicus Maximus. Um. Hmm. If only five mana, I kind of want to set this up. We'll bop the Archon for two to prep it for later. We'll let this guy just hit this for a slight value on the trade. Could bop the Archon for three. And sack the Primus. I'm gonna do this instead. Mm -hmm -hmm. Damn, another plasma.
we get a good spawn in one of these three, we can kill Archon for free. That is not a good spawn, so I could still kill Archon, but I got Arashas to do it. And we will, because we kind of want to do some other stuff. I'm just going to stay where I am. We'll put the fire blaze here. Deal five. Kill that Archon. Sphere back to full HP. Uh, you missed one healing. <laughs> Might get a free kill on the Mystic if we're lucky. Eh, no, we're not lucky, but we get six damage on him, I guess. Uh, I could draw cards now to refill my hand, but I think we keep up the the aggressiveness. Let's just replace this, right, just in case. Okay, we're gonna do Scarab in the... Um, I could put Scarab back here, I suppose. do this that's a good draw that's a real good draw now Harry, Harry's list is he um is he on crab or something he's very controlly but he's not completely controlly I think we're, we're potentially going to get OTK'd. What's my favorite faction? It's Magmar. Aesthetically, I like the lizards. I think they're cool. And I like uh, green and Magic the Gathering. And big green and stuff. If you suspect crab, it most likely is. I suspect an OTK, so I should back off into a corner and hide to minimize what can hit me exactly. Probably. <clears throat> but this crap OTK is down two Vindicators, which is why I'm not 100% convinced entirely that it's crab OTK. It's not a bad turn. I 
I want both fire blazes in range of uh, getting hit here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. This and this. I've got a message. You miscounted one mana, you had a full board clear? Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Apparently you could have cleared my whole board. Flash Metal Harvester, I assume. Can't do anything about Flash Metal Harvester, unfortunately. That's just classic. This is fine. So what do I have? A Fire Blaze Obelisk? Pretty good Star's Fury. Probably the best I'll get in this game. We'll stay away from him in case he's got some kind of OTK thing in mind. We'll move this guy up here. We want to uh, set this up. Move this guy here. Put this over here. Clear that, clear that, hit for two. We can mechanter him back. Patience. Patience, young pedal one. Mechantering him back would be four mana to do practically nothing. I can spend one more mana to set up a, a supreme board state. <clears throat> I played into it anyway. Ah. Uh, Give me the playing into metamorphosis. <laughs> I can't I can't not play her into a meta flash rush minion. How do you play around that? There is no playing around meta flash rush minion. That's that's just it's too powerful. It's too too good. Yeah, how dare I play minions on a board in this meta where Nightstar Assassin just kills my obelisks again for free. What am I thinking? Oh. Just the Mechantor, I see. The, the Mechantor cleared two things. It's not like we played hard into it. Mechantor is always going to hit two things. Hmm. Interesting Flash Mechantor. So you can cast Earth Sphere. So this is nine. <laughs> well, I guess he's dead. Sorry, Harry, but this is the Vitruvian way. And we don't need the Doomcaster because all of these spots reach, so we'll just cash it in now. Ah, Vitruvian. Chain High Maelstrom, isn't it great? <laughs> the only email I got. <laughs> we have to rub it in with the, the third one. <laughs> Damn, this hand is fucking stacked. I don't even want to replace anything. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Harry. I'm so sorry. 
And to say committing war crimes once again is certainly not fun. I imagine thinking you can have a turn after that hits nine mana. Hey, I held back for a turn. I didn't use it on the first chance I had. Uh, I don't like seeing this just because. Uh, what is it? Why do you look at your S rank? S rank, yeah. I should not be this high up. I haven't played the game in literal weeks. But I know it's such a small community. Only 20? March is almost over. There's only 20 S rankers? Oh, where'd everybody go? <clears throat> Only 20 S rankies. Better than most people who are playing at all. That's not true. GG. Can't clearly board. Anachronize just ceased to exist. <clears throat> yeah, thank goodness. I don't know what he missed in his deck, but I guess we're glad he didn't have it. Did you miss their ascension to S? Yeah, I hit S. We're gonna open a banner pack now. There's more than 20, you're not on the list? Well, why aren't you on the list? Why aren't you on the list? It, it is, um... It's 12.50 for me. I'm hungry. I'm gonna break for lunch. I'm gonna close the stream down. Is, uh, is our boy Choco still live with, uh, the, the, uh, what do you call it? The Marvel? Now Choco's done for the day. But Mogwai is live. Should I raid Mogwai? That would be a power move to raid somebody who doesn't even need it, right? <laughs> Let's go say hi to Mega Mogwai. I'm doing some sussing today. I'm gonna try. I won't make a promise, but I'm gonna try. Uh, hey, Dual Check, are you gonna play more of the Warhammer game? Tal's coming out tomorrow. I just want to see some of that Tal action. But I'm I'm not sold on whatever the Warhammer card game is called still. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm gonna try to stream again later tonight. It'll be in five or six hours if I do it. No money right now, Sally. Apparently, I typed in the wrong channel name. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Ugh, copy. How is that the wrong channel name? There you go. I was gonna say hi to Mogwai. He's snapping. We all know Mogwai. The god of CCGs. But thanks for hanging out. When it updates, when the game updates, I'm gonna try to play more Duelist semi occasionally. I'm waiting for the, the extra 21 cards or whatever. So, April, we'll try to do like a weekend Duelist thing or something with this Nest Quest. You doing some dungeoneering? I hope you enjoy your dungeoneering. <laughs> 